Hey guys, now, okay, we're going to talk about something that is very crucial. Now, when we service our cars, we will always look at the freshness of our brake pads because, yes, brake pads are very important. You have to ensure that they are always in good condition because they are serviceable parts and they wear and tear and you got to change them. But sometimes we forget the other crucial part of the brake, which is the brake lines themselves. The OEM ones are rubber brake hoses and we want to see today what is the difference between that and still braided ones. So here we go, we've got a simple test and we're going to do this. I am driving flat out. I've got pedal to the metal. I've got two cones in front of me and... Okay, very simple test, but we know, we're going to know exactly what was the braking distance. And this is the before installation and we'll get back to you right after. So, how did I do? The best result that I got was with this marker over here. This is the 12 meter markers, and this is, of course, before the installation of the steel braided brake hose. If you're wondering what 12 meter looks like, that's where I started braking, and that is where I got 12 meters from. So, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna install the steel braided brake hoses and see if we can get better results with the new items. Let's go and check it out. Ready ho Okay, so the car is now in the garage bay and we are beginning work. As you can see, my friend Kevin here is already hard at work checking the brake lines. What happened earlier was we brake the car uh, using the original standard brake hose and you can see the distance covered was 12 meters, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to be installing this product over here. This is of course a super circuit steel braided brake line. It is locally produced but it is 100% engineered in the USA. Therefore, it surpasses all the regulation standards that are required of it. For example, it has got the uh, US Department of Transport or US DOT uh, standard FMV SS106 and also the SAEJ1401 standard and the compliance all cow team already so everything is already good to go and really the product comes in a box like this and it's as uh, easy as you might think it is it's plug and play but not exactly for you like you'll need professional service here and Kevin here is installing it and whilst he is I'll tell you a little bit more about the product itself but we need to know if the product is indeed suitable for your particular vehicle don't worry because they've got something for all, of, um, all types of vehicles out there. For example, Kevin is working on this Pro uh, Proton Gen 2 and they've got a line suitable for that. But also at the same time, this pack I'm holding is for a Mitsubishi Triton. So really, it really doesn't matter. All you need to do is call up the shop or find out uh, about the uh, product range on the website uh, and you can see if your vehicle is suitable. But for now, let's just see what he's doing. Okay, now, for you to really understand the benefit of changing your brake hoses to steel braided ones, you'll really have to understand how brakes work, alright? So here's the simple way of really trying to understand it. You know how your cars come with brake calipers? Now, the calipers rely on hydraulic pressure to actually apply the brake um, calipers themselves or rather the brake pads to the disc. So the higher the pressure, the stronger the clamping action on the disc itself. So it is all hydraulics. That's where your brake fluids come into play. Now, if you're using standard brake hoses, for example, like this one over here, these brake hoses, which are OEM parts, are made using rubber. And I'm talking about various levels and layers of rubber. For example, you can see it over here. There you go. So you've got one layer of rubber there, and another, and another, and another, and the final. So you've got layers and layers and layers of rubber. Yes, okay, they work, but then only to a certain degree. Because here's Science 101 for you. What happens to rubber when you heat it up? Well, it becomes softer, correct? And secondly, what happens to rubber when you apply pressure to it? It bends, right? All right, so that's the very nature of rubber and we love it for it. But in a brake hose, what happens is 
we have a brake hose, right? Like this. Let me change the brake hose. Okay, let's take a look at this one over here. So you've got this brake hose over here and you apply your brakes. So the brake calipers are down here, for example, and you want the brake fluid to travel down and apply pressure, hydraulic pressure, onto the brake calipers themselves. But because this is rubber, it will expand. So when you apply pressure, the brake fluids will go this way first, and when it cannot expand this way anymore, it will then go down. So this delays the response time of your brakes. What happens when you have a steel braided brake hose? Let me tell you the structure of this one over here. In the steel um, braided brake hose, you'll have three really uh, individual and unique layers. The outer layer is PVC, all right? And this is to stop corrosion happening and abrasion to the second layer, which is the stainless steel braid layer, okay? You can see it over here, it's very pretty. Actually, it's, it looks like chain mail. It's very, very pretty. And the stainless steel braid layer covers the inner part, which is the PTFE Teflon tube. Now, PTFE stands for polytetrafluoroethylene, and this is something you learn in school. Come on, guys. So, this is where the brake fluid goes in. And when you apply pressure, this is not rubber, and it cannot expand. So, the pressure can only go one way. It cannot go this way. It can only go towards the caliper, making your brakes more responsive. So, when you brake, it brakes harder, it brakes quicker. The, the fact that this is all protected and coated means it also um, is able to withstand high pressure up to 3000 psi and also heat and also over extensive use it also stops from brake fade so on the very virtue of the materials used in this thing you completely and immediately understand why it makes great investment for you to actually invest in steel braided brake lines. So now, the guy is, um, Kevin is uh, fitting the uh, brake lines as we speak. I cannot wait for it to be done because we're gonna do test number two. Let's go. Okay, so we have already installed the brake line and really there's only one thing left to do. And that is, well, two things. Number one, safety first, belt on. Now we are going to go and test out if the responsiveness that I talked about earlier is truly and indeed there. Let's go. Come on, did you see that? Did you see that? All right, let's recap. This is where we were at earlier, 12 meters. And then now with the new brake hoses, we are here, eight meters, four meters, saved in the braking distance. Why is that important? Well, very simple. I am four meters short of whatever it was that was on the road. So if I hit my brakes, I'll actually stop before what I did before the installation of the braided brake, um, steel braided brake hose, which means I'm making my ride safer. And you know what? It's not even a big investment. Definitely something for you to consider if you want to make your ride safer and also better stopping power, better handling, better performance. Good job.